I'm on the air tonight. There are now over 1,000 cases of the coronavirus in Florida. The State Department of Health reports 19 new cases right here in the Tampa Bay area with Hillsborough County ranking as fourth in the state with the highest number of cases. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Isabel Rosales. The state is taking action to stop the spread by testing more people. Hillsborough County leaders are working to get more test kits to launch a drive through coronavirus testing center right over at Raymond James Stadium. They're also discussing a stay at home order here in Tampa. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King at Ray J with the big problem they are facing. Isabel County officials tell us they're getting 900 test kits from the Florida Department of Health. They also tell us based off of testing numbers at other locations throughout the state, 900 is not enough to get this testing center up and running. County officials not saying exactly how many test kits are needed for the drive up testing center at Raymond James Stadium. Also not saying when the testing center will open for operation, only that it is their top priority. In a press conference Saturday, City of Tampa Mayor Jane Castor saying the state of Florida is doing what they can at this time, but criticizing the work of those higher up. This is the highest level of unpreparedness from the federal government that I have ever seen. Warning people the numbers of coronavirus cases in the county will likely increase. The only reason we don't have a lot of positive cases is we don't have the ability to test on a large scale. And Mayor Castor urging people to prepare for a stay at home order. It will be soon. I would be surprised if it's not by Monday. If not at the state level, at the county level. We don't know if the governor's going to call one at this particular point in time. We were waiting to see what he may do. The order would close down all non-essential businesses. Things like hospitals, pharmacies, grocery stores, gas stations, as well as takeout and delivery food options would remain open. And people would still be able to go outside and take a walk as long as they're practicing social distancing. The emergency policy group is meeting with other county officials as well as the mayors of Tampa, Temple Terrace and Plant City Monday at 1.30 in the afternoon to discuss whether they'll put a local stay at home order in place. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News. Thank you, McKenna. And ABC Action News is getting answers for you. I reached out to St. Pete Mayor Rick Kreisman to see if he is also considering a stay-at-home option like the one proposed by Tampa Mayor Jane Castor. A spokesperson, spokesperson replying by email saying the mayor is in constant communication with his emergency operations team and, quote, all options are on the table.